Hey guys, this is Brian with Prokashi.com back in Lawrenceville, Georgia. A few weeks ago I did a video about rehabilitating your garden soil and I was talking about how I would put Bokashi brand in uh, uh, my compost and then I would make a fermented compost and turn it into the soil and uh, I would build my soil that way. But I also told you about using a cover crop and a couple of weeks ago I planted in some Alaska peas and this is the little garden plot that I planted them in and if you remember from the video if you haven't seen it it's on YouTube but on the video I told you that I was going to allow all this to grow up and uh, when it started to flower I would cut it down and then turn this back into the soil well here it is a couple weeks later and my peas are actually starting to flower and my mom thinks I'm crazy that I should save the uh, plants for peas, but I really want these plants to build my soil. So I have a nice, thick, dense foliage in here, and I pulled one of them up, and I was going to use these plants as an uh, indicator as to how much nitrogen I have in the soil. For those of you who have never seen nitrogen fixation, all the legumes, all the beans will do it. And I, I planted this one guy by himself in the back of the plot here. You can see where I just dug him up. That's my lettuce that's growing in there next to my basil. And when I dug this guy up, it was really cool. I wanted to share this with you. You can see on the roots, there's little pinkish nodules. They almost look like little pieces or grains of rice. Every one of those is uh, a little nitrogen vesicle, if you would say. This plant has grown, and this one actually hasn't even flowered yet. But this plant has grown. It has pulled nitrogen out of the air, and our air is about 80% nitrogen, so it's a free source of fertilizer. <clears throat> and the microbes that were inoculated onto the seed have... Uh, formed a relationship, a symbiotic relationship with the roots and they have pulled out the nitrogen and allowed the plant to actually make this fertilizer for us. So what I'm going to do in a day or so, I'm going to let them go just a little bit longer. I'm going to cut them down and then I'm going to turn that into the soil and then I'm going to have um, free nitrogen. I'm going to have free uh, organic matter and then I'm going to plant or I may actually allow this to fallow. Let's pull one more up while we're here and see if we can find one. Let me see if I can actually suss one of these out that has a flower to it. It's going to be a little difficult. As you can see I've got a lot of growth so let's just take one from down here. I don't want to break it, so let me get my hands in there and under it. My wife was kind enough to water for me. There we go. Let's pull these roots out. Now as I pull the roots out, you can see the very beginnings of the root base, and there's a little grain of the nitrogen. So let's pull the rest of this guy out shake him off. There you go guys. So for those of you who ever wondered about the value of a cover crop or what it can do for you, hopefully this will give you an idea. Every one of these little grains right here is nitrogen. It's a natural fertilizer. It'll be released into the soil because I'm going to cut down uh, the plant. If I were to allow the plant to continue on and uh, have it go to seed, that nitrogen would be used up. All of these little guys right here would be used up and it is basically energy for the seed. In this particular plant the the highest order or the highest form of the energy will be in the seed. This is an above the ground crop. A below the ground crop like potato, yam, things like that, their final destination for all the energy of the plant will be in the ground. So this one, if I allow these flowers to come to fruit, these little nodules 
will start getting used up. And I don't want that. I want to have this in my ground. I want it to be free fertilizer for me. So I hope you found that interesting. Like I said, in a couple days, I'll cut all this down, turn it in, <clears throat> and put a little bit of a Bakashi compost in there with it, and this plot will be ready for next year. So hope you enjoyed it. Real short, sweet, simple video. If you have any questions, come see me at Prokashi.com. Otherwise, talk to you next time.